Belarus' strongman, looking weak, an address to his traditionally loyal base of state factory workers, met with heckles, not cheers. Step down, they shout. A president should not make decisions as a result of pressure. Then, a compromise. He offers new elections after a referendum on the constitution. But as he flies off, the protest swells. A day of strikes in anger at his re-election nine days ago and the police violence that followed. We want to support this movement. People go out into the street because the authorities do not hear us. And a strike at the moment is the only bloodless method. Across the border in Lithuania, there's worry the president may seek Russia's help or the Kremlin could intervene anyway. We are concerned because it's publicly discussed, so I personally doubt it will happen, but you cannot exclude, you know, you cannot say that it will never be the case. Lithuania is one of the strongest European voices condemning the regime. This country's also watching the actions of Russia closely. But the crisis in Belarus is different to the 2014 uprising in next door Ukraine. The opposition isn't pro-EU or pro-Russia. They're just anti-Alexander Lukashenko. Leading the charge is Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, appearing in another video from hiding. I'm prepared to take responsibility and act as the nation's leader during this period so the country settles down and gets back to normality. Her words will resonate back home, but is harmonious protest enough to end 26 years of one-man rule. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Vilnius.